Today we're running with the balls as we find out exactly which boss blinds trigger Matador's effect. Welcome to What's the Deal? Matador is an uncommon joker that costs $7, whose effect can give you $8, quote, if played hand triggers the boss blind ability, unquote. But what does this mean? We'll find out in just a moment, but first a side note to say yes, Blueprint does indeed copy Matador's effect, and of course Matador is doing nothing when facing off against the small or big blinds, though if you can get it in addition, then all the more power to it. With that out of the way, let's try and work quickly through the 28 different boss blinds and their interactions with Matador. Let's get going fast with the window, the head, the goad, the club, and the plant. These five blinds debuff diamonds, hearts, spades, clubs, and face cards respectively. If any hand you play contains a scoring card that is debuffed by these blinds, then you will indeed get your $8. You can even play one every hand and earn $32 for four hands, plus the interest on that amount at the end of the round. Next, let's tackle some face down stuff. The wheel, the mark, the house, and the fish can all cause your cards in hand to be flipped face down. When you play these cards, they are flipped up and act as if they were normal cards. As such, there's no Matador trigger and no $8. The Psychic is a fun one. You must play five cards, so any played hand of four cards or fewer will be discarded without a score pocketing you eight gold coins. Inversely, the Needle only offers you one hand to play, and playing that hand offers no trigger for Matador, so no doubloons for you. Instead of just one hand, the Water starts you off with zero discards. This lack of discards doesn't impact your hands played, however, so there's no extra Matador cheddar to be had. The Arm decreases the level of your played hand. So, if you play a hand that can be leveled down, you will get your dosh, but if your hand is already level 1 and can't go lower, then there's no more dough for you. The Manacle sets you to a persistent state of minus 1 hand size for the blind, so this doesn't impact your hands played and so you don't get any bucks for your bounty. The Serpent may be my favourite boss to go up against. Every time you play or discard any cards, you always draw back three more. Unfortunately, this effect isn't triggered so much by the hand you play, but just occurs more in general, so no money to be earned here. The Tooth is a very rude foe. Every card you play will cost you $1, and while you think that your played hand triggering this effect would trigger Matador, it doesn't, so you will come out of this encounter just a little poorer. Your fate doesn't have to be the same against the Ox though. If you play your most played hand here, it will set your money to zero, but Matador will then trigger and set you back to $8, so if you come into the encounter with $7 or less, you're in the money. Okay, we're well past the halfway mark now, so let's knock out another pair while getting started on the anti-8 boss blinds. The Wall and Violet Vessel both present extra large scores that need to be beaten to make progress. These higher goals don't impact your hands at all, so while a blessing on strong runs, they won't make Batador pay out. Another pair of similar offenders are the Eye and the Mouth. Two sides of the same coin, the Eye doesn't let you repeat hand types, and the Mouth forces you to repeat only one hand type. In both cases, playing a hand that breaks these rules will pay out $8, so you can strategically split scoring hands and spare hands for extra earning. The Flint can be a tough time. Having your base, chips and malt halved, but for your trouble you will get your $8 redos from Matador. The hook is a nasty piece of work, discarding two of your cards for each hand played. Another instance that feels like it should offer a Matador payout, unfortunately this one does not, so hold on to your cards carefully. Alrighty, the last standard boss blind on the list, the pillar debuffs any card played previously this ante. Playing those debuffed cards in a scoring hand will score yourself $8 too. Okay, on to the last four anti-8 boss blinds. Cerulean Bell forces one card to be selected, but when a hand is played with that selected card, Matador doesn't know the difference and doesn't pay. Crimson Heart disables your jokers, not your played hands, so it doesn't generate any income from our Matador friend. Amber Acorn flips and shuffles your jokers, having no direct impact on your played cards at all, so no payout here. And last but not least is the curious case of Verdant Leaf. All of your cards are debuffed until a joker is sold, so if you play those debuffed cards you will get the $8, but if you've sold a joker and removed that debuff then you won't get anything more, at least not from the Matador. So there you have it, every boss blind interaction with Matador. Some make a lot of sense, some less so, but hopefully now you find yourself well equipped to make Matador money with only marginal mishaps. 
Thank you ever so much for watching. If this video was helpful, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more Bellatro videos. If you have a Joker you'd like to see get the What's the Deal treatment next, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.